Hello and welcome back to the Generational Gamer. I'm Jay Prime. Today we have the Carby. Now you might be asking, well, what is the Carby? Well, it's a remote control. Isn't that cool? Now, I haven't even opened this yet, but that is one cool remote control. I mean, come on now. Now, seriously though, the Carby is a little adapter that allows you to connect it to the component port of an original GameCube and then output into HDMI. It's a feature that several manufacturers have implemented so far. And of course, this uh, eliminates the need for you to mod your GameCube so you can run HDMI directly from it. So, I have read great reviews about it, but I want to see for myself. How about we take a look? We're going to use Mario Kart Double Dash and F-Zero as the test games. What do you say, kids? Yeah! Alright, Hit Point and Magic Point are excited. Oh, how about we battle each other in Mario Kart? The kids will battle each other in Mario Kart. So here's it connected to the GameCube. It's just a, a, it's a micro HDMI that connects into the back of the unit. And it's in there pretty good, so I'm not too concerned about it falling out or moving or what have you. But let's see how it works. Alright, to access the Carby menu, you should be able to hit OK. Which would be nice if it worked. Alright, a little update. The remote is A-OK, -okay, but it does need line of sight. So when in use, the Carby is illuminated. And if I use the remote now, and I hit menu, well, lo and behold, the menu appears. Like but look at how beautiful that is now. It almost looks like a next generation console. Oh, this is when War Mute City first came out. So Hit Point made a made a point. He said, so this is where Mute City originated. Actually, Mute City originated on the very first F Zero game. What was that on? Super NES. I, oh, wait, right. right. Sega did a phenomenal job in porting this game. Because this was actually co-designed for the arcade as well. You got boost power! Yeah, this is how the game's meant to be played. But without a $300 component cable. Boom! Alright, so now we're in progressive scan mode. You just gotta hold it until it recognizes. But it looks good. The only thing is this game was not designed for widescreen. So you need to make sure your TV supports the option to switch it into 4x3. See, now it looks perfect, right? Yeah, but let's leave it in widescreen. It looks better. Alright, Hit Point wants to look at it 16x9 because he likes to have his images stretched. Hit Point, what do you think of the Carby? You like it? Hit points a go. I like it. I'm pretty sure Magic Point likes it too, but she ran upstairs. So, anyway, Carby, inexpensive way to get component style graphics going into HDMI, which makes it easy for video capturing. And now that Nintendo lets us capture video. So I had a little confusion with my Carby. This thing does require a line of sight. I thought the battery was dead, but it's not. Um, I don't know how it compares to the other manufacturers, but they're so expensive, I'm not spending that kind of money. This is an inexpensive option compared to some of the others. Would I recommend it to others? Hell yeah, I'd recommend it to others. I'm recommending it to you! And everybody else around me. Talk to you later, everyone, and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.